Building and deploying software is only one part of the equation. From software we develop at Flying Donkey, after it's deployed, we become the help desk to support this software from now and into the future. In this video, I'm gonna run through on how we run a help desk and how these processes can show you that not only is building software important, but running a help desk correctly is also vitally important as well. There are four key points that we try and use when we set up our help desk. Firstly, we use a ticketing system. Secondly, we clearly define the hours of support. Thirdly, we keep a strong documentation register and screen shares. And finally, and most importantly, is be consistent and follow up. I'm Matt Grace, Managing Director of Flying Donkey. Let's get into it. Firstly, a ticketing system. I have touched on this in other videos, but using a ticketing system becomes the core piece of any good help desk. Now here at Flying Donkey, we use Jira because we've used Jira as well for our development. We also use it for our help desk support, but there are plenty of really good help desk solutions out there. The key thing for ticketing system is that users can raise issues and those issues can be worked through with a support team assigned to them. We use Jira in a variety of different ways, but this allows us to not only track our time and comments and attachments, but also gives us an ability to live view on what tickets are available and which status those tickets are in. For example, sometimes we need to reach out to a third party vendor in order to solve a problem. We can simply assign a status to this and follow the vendor up day on day to make sure it's resolved. Or conversely, at the end of a ticket, we'll assign this to a waiting end user, and therefore we can follow the end user up to make sure the actual problem is solved. Sometimes when you solve a problem, you don't always solve everything, and it's important to follow up there, and I'll talk about that later. The key point here is a central live ticketing system is crucial for running any help desk, and without it, you're gonna be really struggling to deploy one. Secondly, let's define the hours of support. This is really setting expectations with the client around when your support hours are and what the turnaround times of those hours will be. And generally speaking, this is a bespoke experience for each client. For something like a business critical application, you're normally gonna to have to be on board for at least business hours or sometimes more with some outside hours call support for any major issues. What's key here is to define the expectations of the period. Whether that's gonna be a retainer arrangement for the month or whether it's gonna be a charge as build model where you charge for support hours through the month. This is sometimes supplemented with a retainer. And generally speaking, when you start out a support contract, it's gonna be very hard to work out how many hours you're gonna need. So my general suggestion is to start with a support desk on a time and build basis. And after you've worked out the sort of level of support you require, as you try and lock in that as a fixed price contract. Here at Flying Donkey, our relationships with clients are generally quite long. And therefore, even once an application is deployed into live, we're actually providing support and development at the same time. And this works really well because if the clients find any issues, we can simply move these bugs into an existing release and get those bugs out quickly in our fortnightly sprints. Thirdly, documentation and screen shares. I know I always harp on about documentation, but it's even more critical in a help desk scenario. There are really two key things in the help desk scenario that you need. Firstly, is to document the support processes. So when a certain bug is raised, how that should be responded to and how it should be fixed. This is really critical for your support desk to be able to have good staff. It's really critical for a help desk to have these documents so that different members of the support team can support all varieties of problems. As the system evolves and as more tickets are raised, users are generally gonna find more and more bugs. It's important to document what they are so that every time a bug is raised, perhaps someone can look into a document register, see what that bug is and respond to that user. There are actually some really good systems here we can build knowledge bases and allow users to actually look into this knowledge base and share frequently asked questions or frequently found bugs. Secondly, screen shares are really important here as well, as sometimes when captured in a ticket or writing, a user won't actually correctly describe the problem. If you do read a ticket and it's not 100% clear, it's much better to ring and call a client and get them to do a screen share and actually show you the steps to replicate the problem. You might find here that one or two steps have actually been missed in the steps to replicate and you're actually trying to find a bug that doesn't really exist. These screen shares are really also very good to record and add to the documentation and it's very clear for another support technician if they come across the document on how exactly to replicate the bug and hopefully how to fix it. Overall, the key point here is that as more bugs are raised, your knowledge base needs to be built out and the documentation here can both be written and in video form. Finally, and most importantly, be consistent and follow up. I can't stress this enough Enough. On a help desk, depending on the level and criticality of the software, consistently and following up is the most important step. The reason for this is if a system is down or a user is impacted, that user needs to be fixed as soon as possible. Simply fixing a bug and then sending it back to a user and not following up, it's just not good enough. We need to check that user is able to get back online, the system is working as I expected, and they're able to complete their task at hand. Sometimes the fix you deploy is not the fix that the client needed, or sometimes the fix you deploy shows another bug further down the process. It's very important that you follow up the end user and any third parties in your support framework in order to get the ticket fully closed and make sure that it's 100% resolved. So following these steps will ensure you have a good help desk. Here at Flying Donkey, we run a number of help desks for our clients, and generally we'll be looking to run more and more into the future as more software goes live. Help desk is a very important part of any IT business. And if you are gonna offer one to your clients, make sure it is well staffed and well documented and your clients do know when tickets are open or closed. If you need assistance supporting an existing piece of software or you're building a piece of software with us and you'd like to understand how our help desk solution works, feel free to reach out and have a chat.